You know what makes me mad? You know what really burns me up? It's the people that can't be on time for anything. These people that are habitually late for everything. They are never on time, ever. They, they've never been on time for anything in their life. These are the people that would be late for their own weddings, for their own funeral, right? These people, I, I don't understand it because I'm one of these people that, you know, when I say I'm going to be somewhere, I'm going to be somewhere, right? It's just one of those things I, I take it very seriously, like my word is my bond. And I also take it as a as being respectful to somebody. When I say I'm going to be at this place at this time, I'm going to be there. <laughs> like count on it, right? You, you can take it to the bank, right? And then there's these people that whatever time they give you, they're going to be somewhere at one o'clock, you know, and then they show up at one fifteen, one thirty, two o'clock, right? I, I know a lot of these people in life. I've known a lot of these people in life. Now, thankfully, you know, unless it's somebody that's like really close family, close friends, you know, sometimes you have to put up with people that are habitually late, but if they're just, you know, minor acquaintances, you know, once I identify this trait in this person, you know, that they're one of these people that are habitually late for everything and you can't count on them, you can't trust them, right? I, I just eliminate those kinds of people from my life because these people have absolutely no respect for those of us that are on time. And what I mean by that is if I say I'm going to be somewhere at one o'clock and you tell me you're going to be at that place at one o'clock and I get there at one o'clock and you don't show up till one thirty, well, that's 30 minutes of my time. You know, and time is precious. Time is money. That's 30 minutes of my time. I could have been doing something else in life. But all I was doing was sitting there waiting on you, right? And that is extremely disrespectful. If you're one of these people that can't be on time, do you realize how disrespectful you are to the people that are waiting on you? I don't think a lot of these people that are these habitual late people, I don't think they realize just how others view them, how how much we hate you. Like, I, and I, I, being serious, like I don't realize, I, I know some of you guys, because I've known, I, I've got a cousin. I remember this cousin of mine, she could not be on time for anything. And I don't really think she ever really knew that she had a problem. Like, you know, she was, you, you could set a timer to her. Like she was always going to be somewhere 15 minutes after whatever time she told you, right? So if you wanted to meet her somewhere, you know, just make sure that you uh, didn't show up until 15 minutes after that time. And then, you know, she would show up at the same time. So that was, you probably know people like this in life, you know, these people that, you know, they have a certain like time delay, a 15 minute delay or 30 minute delay. So if you want to meet them, for example, at, you know, five o'clock, you tell them, hey, meet me at 430 and they'll show up at five. Right. And then, uh, I've known so many of these people. I, I think some of this because, you know, they don't realize what they're doing. I do think it is a mental issue, and I don't mean a, it's like a mental disorder. I think just some people are wired differently. I know there have been studies that, you know, people do have different perceptions as far as time. My perception of time is different than your perception of time. You know, a lot of people just don't judge time the same way. A lot of people, especially when you're talking about tasks that you're doing yourself, like if I'm setting a task, you know, I'm always going to be a little bit more optimistic on the time it takes me to perform that task because, you know, we always have a little bit of a bias towards ourselves. We always think that we're better than we actually are. So if there's some task that I think everybody typically is going to take about an hour to do, I might say, you know what, I'm going to finish it in 45 minutes because I'm a little bit better than everybody else. You know, and we, we're all like that. We're all a little bit more optimistic when it comes to, you know, our, the time it takes us to complete a task. And we're always pessimistic when we're trying to judge others, you know, evaluate others. And, and that's, uh, again, I think that's just part of the way the, the human brain is wired. And when I say it's a mental issue, I don't know of anybody that I've ever seen in life that had this problem of being habitually late and then overcame it somehow. Like they, they were able to just turn the switch off and all of a sudden they, they were 
on time for everything, you know, from that day forward. They just, you know, decided, you know what, I'm going to stop being late. These people, they, they never are able to turn it around. So in some ways, even though these people infuriate me and make me mad, at the same time, I, I also have to accept the fact that these people probably can't change. But just the fact that they can't change that still doesn't mean I necessarily need these kinds of people in my life. It's one of those things, too, that, you know, if, you, if you're one of these habitually late people, you've got to at least try to, to fight that because you are seriously going to piss off everybody you meet in life. And it's one of those things you're going to have a serious problem in school because when you're late for classes... You're not going to do well. You're going to have a serious problem at your job because being late is typically going to get you fired or at the very least, you're not going to get promoted within the company you're working for. Also, it's going to be a problem with just social relationships in life. You know, it's one of these things that you got to get this under control if you're one of these people. Because again, I don't think a lot of you guys, if you're like that, I don't think you realize how the rest of the world views you and it's not positive at all. Anyway, ran over guys. Peace.